Hi right, guys, welcome back to MJ Performance. So loads going on. Um, as you can see, you got the little beast there. Um, it's not the subject to this video, but loads of customer cars in today. So we've got Brian's here. You can just see further down there, C225 and Malcolm's. And I'll see the uh, hashtag 001 edition ST180. So loads going on. Uh, I've got the boss Martin here. Look. Yep. There. No crash damage anymore? No, no crash damage on the uh, little beast. No, they've done a done a great job on that one. Um, mm -hmm. You've seen that on our previous video. We've got loads more videos to come out on this one. Um, but yeah, just a long-winded uh, process that's going to be, unfortunately. Yeah, it is. Yeah, as you can see, it's not. We got other lots of more important things to be getting on with first. Yeah, well, we're very busy in here, so mm. you've seen it on our previous video. But uh, this is Brian's ST225. It's having engine work as we've shown you on the previous video and um, it's moved on a little bit now so I'm just going to bring the boss Martin in just to explain where we are with the project now. Yeah right guys with Brian's is just uh, again we're just waiting for parts to be delivered just certain things cosmetically we're waiting for um, hardware um, it, it's not too much of a problem because um, with the engine like Tim said that's been uh, rebuilt as we speak. Brian supplied us with a with a wing that the Body shop's done, so we just bottled that on for temporarily yep. bottled it on for make sure it all fits, and then that'll all. Uh, so that'll they'll go back to, uh, together very quickly, guys. You know these two, so we won't mess around. We got one of the yeah, yeah. So Rogan's there. We've got um, his uh, his block back because that wasn't a, a complete strip down. So that was just um, the block mod, and we're at it. Just check the things. You can see that the. Top of the pistons a bit crusty. No, we're uh, we still got that to do, so we'll we'll get them all cleaned up, uh, like new, and um, yeah, share with you the what else we're doing on that yeah, yeah. on that side. Of it. So we can we'll come back to that later. So there's been some work quick. done to the suspension. Yeah, today, so the H and R lowering springs are on now. Funny thing with the H and Rs and the ST two two fives, they run different colours front and rear. So they run a grey metallic grey front spring nut and red on the rear. I think yeah, I've ever just, had, uh, any, uh, <laughs> had a set from H and R. Yeah, I've not. SD two two five. Steve's is the same. Where they're the same colour around. As Martin was saying, here's the rears there, so red. But um, yeah, it's a new one for me. I've not uh, seen that before myself either. So um, yeah, maybe it's uh, maybe it's so mechanics know which end to put the the springs. I don't know. <laughs> uh, this one's having loads of work done. Um, as we yeah. said, not to the. Yeah. Quite extent of Brian's, no, but it's not, no. still but very, very uh, on extensive. That later, you know, he's starting. Um, still quite up, but he's having other things done. That Brian's not having done. So yeah, he's yeah. The suspension, he's having the. Oh yeah, I was. I was. Spacer, he, I mean, and so it's a bit of a mix, really. But on engine side of it, you're quite right. Brian yeah, I was referring to the engine, technique. yeah, and the software. So yeah. Brian's is going to be running a Regal Stage Two. Yeah, which is what we recommend. This runs a Collins Performance, as is quite obvious. Stage yes. One, so. As I said, we'll be converting now Rogan over to a Revo. That's you know, that's that's what the aim is anyway. But like I said, yeah, so we'll go past 001. And then straight on to Malcolm. So you'll have seen this at the um, the lad the show that we've done on Sunday, which we were supporting the uh, the Devon RS Owners Club on yeah. the stand with up at um the historic can you remember what it is? Historic vehicle well, gathering. It was let me just confirm that. Historic vehicle gathering. You got guys. it right, didn't you? I kept calling it classic car show. I had to be, um, had to be. Uh, yeah. So anyway, so the fact checked on that one. Yeah. So with the regards to an ST with the shows, um, they've joined as associated members to the RS Owners Club yeah. National Club. All right. All the like the Devon Club and the Cornwall Group and Exeter and whatever. They're just like uh, local groups. All right. But the main one is so. You know, fair play to them. They, you know, they joined as associated members. That then means that they can. Uh, the only one they can't show is that is National Day because it's yeah. you know, that's, the, that's the only one. But the rest of the, the regional shows and local shows, whatever, they can actually put their ST on the RS stand, which is great because um, that's what it's all about. Social side of it and you know mixing it all up, fantastic. Yeah, We've all got. I've got ST. I love STs and, as well as RS. So. You've got an ST, Tim. Yep. You're an associate member. Yep. There was a feature done on your car in the RS Owners Club Rally News. Yeah, Rally News, yep. He's had a feature done on this one, and I'm sure that there's going to be other things uh, featured 
in yeah, the, definitely. In the future, isn't it? As we said on the video from Powder Room, that yeah. will be up uh, before this one. Um, you know, Malcolms was in Fast Forward magazine earlier on in the year, so yeah. um, loads of things done. But obviously, it's in now for a few more bits that are going to really um, well, him, set this him, car apart. Isn't we'll it? We're having done what you're going to have done. He's yeah, he is. Yes, beat you to the line. Beat me to it. Yeah, well, not hard to do that these days because no. uh, I'm a bit slow off the mark. Yeah. But yeah, so um, Malcolm's got RT330 as we've said on the video with um, Monty's perfect upgrade to complement that and to mm. use the full potential of the maps is uh, water mess system. Well, it is because um, they're quite interesting on that point. Being a Reval dealer, we're uh, all the dealers worldwide. Uh, we have our own WhatsApp Reval Worldwide app, which we all uh, discuss on, make comments, you know, um, keep up to date what's going on, anything you um, you need to know information wise, you know, we all speak to you, so which is the way it should be. Um, and they were only talking about that um, uh, last week to me. They were mentioning about the RT330, and um, like we stated before, some of the art Reval's which are in Europe they get access to 100 and 200 mm. fuel at the pumps, whereas we don't. So they're experiencing the, the, the actual, the way the car goes by running the higher octane yeah, fuel yeah. in, in the, the already loaded up map on the SPS switch for the RC330. So, but over here, unfortunately, you can't experience it unless you start messing around with additives, which, all right, if you want to do that, but you're never really going to get it Correct. It's just no. uh, it's a bit of a guesswork. Isn't it? We've done it. I've done it on the on the yeah we have the yeah. beast. And yeah. then apart from running 102 uh, uh, octane race fuel, which also we done on the little beast, but that's mighty expensive. It's just a little bit expensive, crazy, guys. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. Crazy. So the the the, well, the common sense thing to do, no brainer, is to run it on water meth. All right. Yeah. The install is an expense there, of course, but once it's done, it's done. You're not going to be spending out. Or additives, you add up additives throughout the year, and then you're not really sure you got mm. it right. And then you add up race fuel, be horrendous, be thousands and thousands. A oh, race you fuel, know. yeah, very yeah. expensive. So, and it, that doesn't make sense, you know, that is complete overkill. Very much overkill, right? yeah. And we're, we're not so, a big fan of overkill here, as you no. know, guys. So, we need to get sensible on this one, yeah. And the water meth is what we're going to be doing. So, we've got it on ours, that was where we tried, tried and tested on. And then, Monty's is, um. Got it on his. Yep. That was the last install. So now it's going to gonna be number three. So then he'd be able to run it on the on the 102 octane setting for the RT330. So this is just the early phase of stripping it out and getting it ready for the install. Got a similar spec to yours. Yes. Both yep. running the RT330. Yep. Both still got the aircon intact. Both run the Simpson race manifold. But interestingly, that's the the different ends there on the exhaust because you run the full Simpson race system. Yeah. With the repackable silencer. And Malcolm's opted to uh, stay with the Miltech non res catback. Yeah, no, that's his choice, that's fine. It is, yeah. I mean, quite, great you know, bit it's, of not, kit. it's a different, completely different sound. It's nice to have different variations, exactly. Yeah, exhaust, yeah. you know, in whatever the customer wants, really. So, but yeah, so here's the manifolds off to the Zircotec, just waiting for that. It's about a 10 day turnaround with them. It's just yeah. that they're that busy and they have to cater for all, they do all for the competition and the motorsport stuff. So, you have to wait your turn basically yeah definitely yeah. all right but um i'm going to be starting the um the install on that um and while we've got everything there laid out all yeah, our cabling so, um, that we need on the bench here guys this is the water map setup yeah effectively so um, you've got your race tab we're going to be needing to drill a hole around about there all right with my grubby nail thing yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, you've been working hard, Martin, that's why. I'm going to be working um, hard this week, mate, because Alan's on holiday for the rest of the week. Is, so that yes. means it's going to be me and Timmy Tastic too. So, a bit of babysitting needed, yeah? Uh, no comment. Right. No comment. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm um, being yeah. nice to him because my car's in here at the moment. Right. So. so, yeah, hole needs to be drilled there. No level sensor, yeah. which triggers the fault light. Which, I'm not saying it's a fault. They use the fault light for to say that it's low on meth, water yeah. meth, meth, whatever you want some people do run motors and be run motor and meth and whatever so here's your this is your gauge so this is your gauge controller so this will give you the boost pressure this runs the water meth so digi display and it'll scale up on the top there your duty cycle which is so your boost will be here and the duty cycle is there that's basically telling you when you're starting to inject the meth and as it goes up in the little blocks or you want to call it that that's the you know the, as it's progressing 
it goes right to the end so as it's injecting all right okay. so yeah. the injector is down with julian because he's um check it out guys have a look on our uh, not on ours but have a look on what is it jules jules rocco i'll put it up on the screen yeah, here put it guys on the, on the link there because yeah. incredible guy he is that talented this guy yeah and well he has to be to be able to work on some of the stuff that he works on like i said pat durand's pike's big rs200 etc just one all right so we're not going to give he's not going to choose anybody to work on that car no so hence why we've got a good relationship with julian he does all our fabrication in you have to wait months to get it down to him it's a bit like everything really and it's a bit like the simpson takes months it's a bit like um her ally takes months if you want the best to do it you have to wait yeah all right luckily he's just local five minutes down the road yeah yeah all right but yeah so the little beast is standing with him at the moment and we'll be sharing with you me and tim we're going to go down there and do some vids and we we are so, yes as, um uh, like a work around obviously uh julian's happening. availability but we're going to do some yeah. videos down there to show you what's yeah, going because on because at the end of the day he needs to be cracking on and yeah, yeah. be interrupting him and what he's doing so um, it'll be an after work thing we'll pop down there yeah and do some uh, do some videos on what's yeah. happening with the little beast guys so you can see part, it first hand part of our little beast yeah. series of videos you'll it see is. some more yeah. updates but on what's going on if you go on. on to check out that link he's put some instagram stories on of what he's actually doing yeah it might give now, you a the boost clue. pipe that you yeah. see is is for this one all right yeah so he's welded some proper bosses on for the injector and the and the uh and the the, the boost um uh, adapter little nozzle all right so and also there's some other things on there which is have a look so we think yeah, but yeah. Don't, i won't tell you what it is no. well, you'll figure out what it is but you, you see if you can find out what's happening with the little beast with regards to the instagram story that he's done yeah, yeah. it's little teasers what's happening and i think that's a good fun doing that isn't it yeah definitely but anyway so back to what's on the bench here so race tank like i said oh that we drove there for that blah 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 right so we've got the the pod which holds the controller yeah all right this probably won't use is what it comes with it you've got your water meth pipe yep. yeah and then you've got it for your boost pipe all right so effectively straight onto the end of there when it's, oh, when it's fitted straight onto the end of there and then that will go straight to the your nozzle which is going to be in the boost pipe all right so it's pretty straightforward to be honest there's nothing difficult about it um and your solenoid so this is your solenoid controller so where we mount this to is underneath the skull or an appropriate place it needs to be vertical all right and then you've got your feed in feed out all right so you feed in from the we'll see the pump then that's in the back that goes on to there all right so you got your feed in and then you feed out so he takes it from the tank obviously all right so we need to have um where is it so that would be somewhere like there all right all right so that's gonna because you need to get fluid out of the tank to me yeah of course you do you know yeah all right, no so point in being there. If that's not. right. So straight into the pump, pump the drag that out, out, yeah. um, and then straight to around and out to here, all hidden in the car. Um, a bit like this. If you look at some of the pictures that were that we've already done, you'll see it. And then out down onto the into the boost pipe, which is you know people put them in different places, but that's we, we find that that's the optimum place to to put them. Yeah. All right. On especially on this one anyway. So. That's that solid. Um, we've got all our shrink wrap and our proper uh, bits and pieces for the you know sort of insulation, the proper fabric tape to tape yeah, all properly yeah. on the uh, in the interior before it goes back. All right, and then this is the old setup, similar to what you've got. Yes. Yeah. yeah. On the top of the uh, rocker cover, so that will be all transferred over. So we'll be using the black nylon, which yeah, is better. Yeah. All right. We'll put the pro fittings on the end. Obviously, you've got the fittings on there. So into the catch can. All right, and then out 90 degree, uh, bears 90 degree 45. Yeah, straight onto the uh, and it'll be the same setup as uh, on the little beast and Monty's. Yeah, you're going to be having the same as this. Yeah, so it just freshens up. We're going to reconfigure um, a new engine cover. Yes, yeah. The little beast is down with Julian at the moment, so he's going to be coming up with something for that. All right, don't know what material yet, probably be in Alley, would have thought. Mm. All right, and then we can once he's done that. We can test, you'll test for it and then straight on to, uh, so Malkin's oh, probably be the first to have fitted to be honest. So it's nice. It's good. I always like to um, take turns. Absolutely, yeah. And being the first. So yes. Monty's had something like the first as architect co in. Yeah. Um, so this one will be the first to uh, have like, you know, the, um, like the bosses put into the boost point. It was only just for time. We didn't have time before. So 
it'll be an upgrade which Julian will carry out on all of them though and then you'll make an engine cover which yeah. will test fit on mine and then it'll go on to Malcolm's and cool, yeah. uh, there you go yeah. Cool Miss UK shout out to them um, yeah. you know they follow us on Instagram check out their stuff on Instagram as well yeah and also um, Devil's Own you know so we got uh, I mean that's a Devil's Own race tank we, we tend yeah. to like uh, mix and match really um, and then Bruce and Alfie at Devil's Own superb I mean yeah you can't ask for you know uh, the help and support that they give you uh, we're pretty lucky really because you know the, the support that we get from all our um, partners that we deal in um, is fantastic so uh, and we're learning all the time and then they they learn things from us and you know so with regards to that because they've not the, our little beast was the first to have a water meth kit fitted yeah really on RT330 that's for sure so this will be the third one that we're going to be doing yours will be the fourth one yeah and then yeah it's we test it we test it on ours and it's fantastic isn't it and then we're yeah, happy yeah. with the controller and all that sort of stuff um you know st180s don't come with boost gauges so it gives you you know it gives you that it gives you a bit more well. information so about what's yeah, going on I mean, yeah it does doesn't it? so and it's quite accurate as well yeah so that's that's all good so we'll be um yeah and then we'll, when he gets the uh, we're going to do we're going to try some different um heat management i think as well um because we use at the moment just the which everybody does to be honest the embossed um which you can see oh, there's any down there but yeah well anyway it's the embossed uh, heat shielding that yeah. we use and we just like mold it into whatever shape we want um bit of a pain to do but i might try something a little bit different um you know with the um i'm looking at the zircoplex okay which, yeah. which is like yeah. a three layer the zircoplex is this obviously from the same company that do zircotec and it's the same stuff as what they use from you guys that know what a McLaren F1 is. It's the same as what they used on the McLaren F1 back in the day. So it's that sort of thing, you know, the gold wrap, but it's a it's it's a heat shield wrap. And um, so we'll try. Well, I don't know. We'll try it and see what. Um, I just want to make it look really neat. Just do something that's not been done before, really. Yeah. So um, guys, if we come around the front, so part of the engine's been stripped out, but there's one very important part of the engine that's uh, that's missing. Same as the little piece. So um, it's missing. Yeah. What's something's missing here? Man. Manifold's missing, mate. Yeah. Oh. Um, so uh, people that have been seeing our Instagram and what's happened to Monty's, they might have a clue as to what's going on yeah, here. Yeah, because on Monty's, we um, it was the again we're all for testing, aren't we? So Monty's been testing that for um, I don't know. It's got to be, got to be a month or so, isn't it? since he's been testing that and he he's, yeah, because that, the yeah. weather's been great he's been out in it most evenings and not really thrashing it not messing around mm. and um i took the car i went and picked the car up from monty's on sunday early sunday morning and brought it to the, the show at exeter um which we discussed earlier on yeah um, and he's been driving it as well so there's been uh, lots of testing done lots of miles been put on it and lots of um data and checking for to see what uh, and the biggest improvement was cabin temperature yeah yeah so right, he's still he's still got the aircon on this and he's still retaining the aircon um on this one so that's um yeah that's that's still being retained um, i mean yours is the same setup as malcolm's it's, you know you, it's been you use your car or well, use your car more than what malcolm does mm. um and it's just a yeah it's just heat management yeah it yeah. is yes so yeah it's um yeah, well, yeah, so that's going to be, I mean, it takes a little while though, you know, uh, Zircotec, we're talking 10, 10 days turnaround, so that's the only problem, it's the only negative side of it, it's a 10 day turnaround, you mm. can't, you know, with the other ones, I, Monty's had done, it wasn't done any quicker, unfortunately, so that's what we, uh, but we've got other things to do on this anyway, I mean, it's having all the, all the um, catch can upgrade as well, oh, okay, so yep. it's the same as Monty's in a little piece, so, you know, with the uh, braided black nylon on, like work with the different unions these are good these will go yeah have our our bespoke fittings put on it you know with your 45 and your 90 degree yeah um race fittings there to there and then with the pro clamps and all that sort of stuff so yeah there's um that will look pretty cool certainly will yeah yeah really will you wanted um, that doing that at the same time and why wouldn't you oh well, really nice guys yeah really nice um Great to see this one's favourite of mine. I do like Malcolm's really good car, and um, well, he looks after it, doesn't he? He's, you know, he really does. You know, just cherish it, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. So, yes. Uh, of course, it's got all our old um, our brakes from the uh, from the front and rear, isn't it? Oh well, yeah, little um, little flashback to yeah. 
last year. So uh, it was around, it was around this time last year that Little Beast got its uh, big break upgrades, and obviously then it went up to National Day. Um, but yeah, Malcolm's got the old brakes, which are previously fitted to the Little Beast. Yeah. And um, yeah, they serve him well. We've got a few events coming up and shows and whatever, and so um, it's trying to find time to do it all, to be honest, isn't it? It is, yeah, just not enough hours in a day at the moment, guys, but um, yeah. yeah, it's always good to be busy. And as you can see, loads of stuff going on here. Um, loads more exciting things coming on, as we said, with the Little Beast events and things we should and the van, be sharing with you as well. And the van as well, so that's up you know, guys, if you go on to uh, check Pro Alloy out, yeah. uh, I think, I don't know, have they put it on their Facebook? Yeah, well? they have, yeah. It's Facebook been on, and Instagram. Yes. You'll yeah. see our van up there, Progress. We've, has we've been shared made, it as well yeah, on Instagram. Progress has yeah. been made on that with regards to um, their, with the intercooler side of it, which they're doing on the full intake. Yeah. So, and there'll be, once that's done, there'll be even more exciting news to come on that of what we're going to be doing ourselves when the van's back. All right. So that's an important uh, part of the fleet as well because it yeah, caters yeah. for another market of you know there is that, that side of it you know so it's not just the cars you know no. there's a there's a big market for the for the msrt and m sport vans which we're part of you know the little beast because that's where it all started and that's the uh that's the, it, it is the most important important car of course they're all important but that is the most important car a bit like we were talking about double one that's the most important car whether people agree with that but it just is because it's the very first one yeah you know our little beast is the most important one because it's the very first car that we had and it's the what started the ball rolling with all the mods and get you know uh, with regards to you know um relighting the flame with the ford performance that was yeah, yeah. motorsport back in my day when uh, the cosy days but yeah just you know, that's where it all uh, came about again guys so um yes that's the most important car to me so and that's why it's going through a huge that right word? Huge, yeah. Well, is that a transformation? Is that a giveaway? Um, transformation. Yeah, there's loads of stuff going on with Little Beast, which, yeah. as we said, we'll be we'll going down. We'll, 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 yeah, we will. Doing we'll, a video we'll, with Julian. We'll, we'll, we'll just put out there some teasers, isn't it? Yeah. Um, about what's happening with it, and then you can like, work it out for yourself. Really. Yeah, yeah. But Cyber Sanders is like you know, sweating and getting itchy feet, and um, wanting to know when he's going to be back behind the wheel. Yeah. Um, but as I said, you know, patience. Yeah, patience, patience uh, Rich there. You have to wait there, mate, but um won't be very yeah, long. He's not got any, is he? So, <laughs> um, yeah, he needs to just um, bear with it, and um, he will be back behind the wheel, yeah, yeah. you know, um, lapping like a maniac around the uh, whatever circuit. He thinking. certainly will, yeah. He certainly yeah. will. Yeah, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to have a shakedown anyway before we start um, even thinking about that. So yeah. that's all to come, guys. So um, exciting times, you know, to the end of the year. Um, so yeah, uh, and you're working hard with the uh, on the social media and uh, all that side of it. it it's real. I yeah, mean, you know that's off to you, mate. It's not uh, easy to do. I mean, I wouldn't have time to do it. It's, yeah, and it is really. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very. Well, you can tell the viewers how time consuming it is. The guys who do it, that we all know, that are you know the YouTubers. It's unbelievable how much time it takes, and it's just the yeah, yeah. Side of it, isn't it? And you got to, we've got a video. We're not. You know, got loads of videos going on. I mean, but, you know, it's. it's uh, yeah, the editing side of things, guys. Mm. Um, that's where the time goes. So we are busy down here. Obviously, I'm busy with other things as well. So as Martin said, with the cars and things, only so many hours in a day. But we have got loads of stuff to share with you very soon. Yeah, and we're trying on to these get it, cars and yeah, other things as well. We're trying to get it off, you know, posted up as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, like I said, it's just bear with us, guys, isn't it? So yeah. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and if you like this, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Thanks, guys.